Baggage fees are at an all-time high, so carry-on travel is a very appealing prospect to save as much money as possible after already paying an arm and a leg for your ticket. While there are a million different ways to pack a carry-on bag, there are plenty of mistakes to be made, potential TSA minefields, and other malpractices that should be avoided if at all possible. We'd even say it's a bit of an art form, so we wanted to put together a guide with an example of how we would approach the perfect carry-on bag using our friend Belroy's new 30-liter light travel pack to do so. We'll walk you through TSA requirements and restrictions should they apply to the item, but just to be very clear, every item in this guide falls well within their specifications for both domestic and international airline travel. So without anything further, let's dive right in. As we said, packing the perfect carry-on backpack is a work of art, but like many masterpieces, you begin with a canvas. For our carry-on backpack, we landed on Belroy's newest 30-liter light travel pack, and here's why it's such an excellent pick for a carry-on bag. First, weight and capacity. While the capacity is in the name, this pack comes in both a 30-liter and a larger 38-liter. The weight hovers just over 2 pounds even, or 950 grams unpacked for the 30-liter, which is virtually imperceptible on your back. This is made possible by and large, the use of recycled nylon and recycled polyester, and a touch of breathable foam on the back panel as well as the use of see-through mesh on the interior. Second, travel features. There are certain build qualities like luggage handle pass-throughs, comfortably built back panels, quick access pockets, and grab handles that make a backpack well-suited as a piece of carry-on luggage. The 30-liter light travel pack features them all. On the back panel behind the foam padding, a luggage handle pass-through laid out in the horizontal axes. On-body comfort is notable, Belroy clearly prioritizing wearing experience with this newest generation of travel pack. Also fully adjustable on your person with the aid of a lightweight sternum strap. And the quick access pockets, namely the topmost right here, to keep your essentials like your passport, take Kits, earbuds, power bank, charging cords, and keys with a built-in leash, all consolidated and readily available. And on the outside, you even get a weather-resistant zip track, as well as these grab loops built into the darts in the corner if you want to hang any additional accessories with a carabiner or other type of clip. And just below this topmost pocket, in a similar execution, is a vertical zip you could use to stow away a variety of different items, perhaps even a smaller packable sling bag to use at your destination when the time comes. And third, the interior organization as well as the access style are obviously hyper-engineered, but simple and incredibly useful. The clamshell access style allows the backpack to open, just like a conventional suitcase, laying out all your carry in a way that avoids you having to rummage through the bottom of your bag in the dark. And the interior is largely a system of built-in packing cubes. The upper left is an opaque horizontal zip pocket for socks or even rolled up t-shirts, just below a large undivided mesh pocket for larger clothing items or books or a tablet or e-reader, and on the other side is a single piece of real estate like you have with a conventional suitcase that uses a zip cover to keep your travel essentials in place when you go to close the bag, and also security for travel so they don't just jostle around. Just behind this, we also have a zippered laptop sleeve that accommodates computers up to 16 inches and hugs the back for extra protection. Last but certainly not least, travel can expose you to the possibility of theft or loss. So just as an extra light layer of added security, we do also get a semi-hidden internal AirTag slip pocket just in case of loss, yourself or the airline, or worst case, theft. A great travel watch is a versatile watch, and hey, obviously one with some swagger. One of our favorite all-arounders with ample style comes from Mito, and it's a GMT diver that really doesn't get enough attention, the Ocean Star Decompression World Timer. By the way, this is a limited edition, Mito telling us that they won't make another World Timer reissue like this for years to come, so we would suggest acting fast if it does catch your eye. And just as we've seen with a plethora of other Swiss Heritage brands, Mito's plucked this design from their archives for a revival. What we get is a dial full of nostalgia, a COSC certified forehander, a very unique decomp scale at the center, 200 meters of water resistance, and a beautiful mesh bracelet, all for just over $1,300. 40 and a half millimeters in diameter, also 40 and a half millimeters in length or lug to lug, and 13.4 millimeters thick. The Ocean Star Decompression World Timer has fantastic proportions. The lug to lug is incredibly compact, making it a case that would please most folks, even ones who maintain smaller wrist dimensions. This stainless steel case comes beautifully finished to a mirror shine, with a world timing bezel sitting prominently at the top, adorned with most major time zones in the form of cities. A screw down crown at the three bolsters the case's 200 meters of water resistance, making this more than enough for a capable recreation diver companion, and a beautiful glass box style sapphire sits at the center just above the colorful dial. Now the GMT function is fairly straightforward, but if you're not familiar with how those work, we actually do have a whole guide about GMT watches, so we'd start there. 
Instead, let's focus on the decompression timing scale because that could use a bit of clarity on how to properly use. First, you're going to position the minute hand to 12 o'clock at the start of your dive. Each of the four rings represent different maximum diving depths in both meters and feet. For the sake of this demonstration, let's use the innermost ring, a max depth of 80 feet, which is just a touch deeper than what allows for a first level PADI open water certification around 60. The zero numeral on the ring will indicate the maximum diving time without having to make a decompression stop. For this depth, it would be 34 minutes. So from 0 minutes to 34 minutes, there's no need to make a decompression stop for this depth. For 35 to 40 minutes, you need to make a 5 minute decompression stop, and between 41 minutes to 50 minutes, you do need to make a 20 minute decompression stop. These stops refer to a safety stop around 5 to 6 meters from the surface, which gives your body a bit of time to acclimate to the changes in pressure to avoid decompression sickness, aka commonly referred to as the bends. And that's really the crux of a watch that looks far more complicated than it actually is. Around the periphery is a 24 hour ring, loomed markers, and a date window at the 3. Inside Mito builds in the caliber 80 based off the EDA 2824-2 and it offers a 3Hz beat rate but a high 80 hour power reserve for several full days of use between wines. Which as we've said before, is an enticing prospect for a mechanical everyday watch even though this caliber does sacrifice some accuracy to make this possible. Mito offers the Ocean Star Decompression World Timer with two strap options. Rubber, of course, as this is a dive watch at its core, but also this knockout mesh bracelet that's perfect for a date topside. Modular EDC is great travel EDC, as you can pick and choose which features to take and which to leave at home. TSA compliance obviously has to be top of mind when assembling carry-on EDC, and the modularity of the Windler Extra Stack allows you to assemble a multi-tool piece by piece to make sure it's fully TSA compliant. So the Extra Stack is a tool set composed of four different tools. The P01, a pry opener and pry bar bottle opener hybrid with M4 to M8 wrenches at the center, and a flathead screwdriver slash box opening tip. The PH2, a Phillips head screwdriver, the FH4 flathead screwdriver, and the mono scale knife composed of a 440C stainless steel knife. To be fully TSA compliant, you will have to leave the mono scale blade in your check bag as TSA doesn't allow for blades of any length on the plane and carry on luggage or on your person. However, you can certainly just throw this component in your check bag and then attach it to the rest of the tools at your destination. The main body of each tool is fully crafted from a lightweight single piece of 6AL4V titanium and then bead blasted to a matted finish. They call it satin, but it's definitely more matte than semi-gloss. There's also a fine texture as a result that helps with grip. Adding or removing a tool is so incredibly easy as the tools build in an extremely strong N52 neodymium magnet nestled within proprietary palnetic connectors that seat to each other to be as flush as possible without excessive rubbing or abrasion. Last but certainly not least, Wendler provides a convenient carry lanyard with a titanium loop at the end to secure the tool set to your person or on your carry-on bag of choice. Obviously, if you're going to carry a pen or during travel, the next most applicable piece of EDC would be a notebook. One of our favorites for travel is, well, the Traveler's Company USA Traveler's Notebook. While the company is based in the States, the actual notebook portion is crafted in Japan with a leather cover material sourced from Thailand. This notebook when closed is just about A5 in size with dimensions of 9 inches in height, 5.7 inches in width, and just over a half inch thick. Inside you get 64 blank saddle stitched MD paper pages, the notebook held together with a cover elastic band, and completely replaceable when all the pages become filled. The best part about this notebook, in our opinion, is that you get to keep the leather cover, which will collect just as much character as you do during your many adventures. Plus, Traveler's Company USA provides different styles of internal notebooks, ones that feature lines or grids, ones that keep built-in keepsake pockets. It is, like the Windler multi-tool set, in a way, modular and customizable, with equally unique cover materials to choose from as well. During the humdrum of daily life, you may only need a few cards and a fold of cash to carry you over. However, your financial carry and important documentation expand significantly during travel. Think passports, tickets, or perhaps even a visa. The Bellroy Travel Wallet is a favorite for a dedicated wallet that organizes any and all of the above. That means four to seven cards or more, a dedicated section for holstering a passport, except ones from Ireland and Germany, a hidden compartment for spare cash, and four quick access vertical card slots, all RFID protected. And while that may seem like a ton of capacity, the form factor is still quite compact and enough to fit inside the back pocket at 150 millimeters in length by 97 millimeters in height, or just about 5.9 inches in height by 3.8 inches in width. Also, the Bellroy Travel Wallet does offer peace of mind. The last thing you want to worry about is any type of identity theft. So, like most other Bellroy wallets, the Bellroy Travel Wallet is fully RFID protected, even though the outer gold rated leather would have you thinking this unit is old school and lacking modern tech. 
As long as your carabiner doesn't sport any noticeably sharpened edges, TSA allows most. One of our favorite compact carry-on carabiners for travel is the James Brands The Holcomb. This 3-inch carabiner is tall and skinny, constructed from 6 AL4V titanium and lightweight, keeps your keychain carry secured with a spring-loaded wire gate, and a two-chamber design for safe engagement and safe disengagement. At the very end is a touch more utility by way of a pry bar and flathead screwdriver combination, and we found that even though it may not have been its intended use, the top lip of the carabiner right here, where it meets the wire gate, can more or less act as a bottle opener. Moving right along. Anyone who's done any sort of plane travel knows the benefits of noise-canceling headphones, or earbuds. So our next pick is Sennheiser's 4th Gen Momentum True Wireless Earbuds, which provide a degree of active noise cancellation that's on par with some of the best over-ears on the market. And they offer up to 30 hours of playback with a revamped battery system and wireless charging case to keep you listening for the entire length of your trip. And if your travel time is over 30 hours, well... Godspeed. Yes, they're one of our personal favorites, but they were recognized at CES 2024 with a Best in Show award, one of only 14 given out of thousands of submissions. Alright, so over-ear headphones will natively always technically have better noise cancellation than earbuds. Our ears gather sound not only from the canal, but from the entire ear, helix, lobe, and even from the mastoid bone behind the ear that transmits vibrations to the inner ear via the skull. That being said, these in-ear earbuds will cut most of the engine roar and a good amount of that crying baby a few rows back to keep your listening as clear and uninterrupted as possible. Sennheiser also has been one of the first audio companies to integrate AuraCast support, aka Bluetooth of the future, which allows a transmitter to broadcast to thousands of different receivers. Practically, for earbuds like these, it means the ability via future firmware updates to tap into PA systems at airports, or even say wirelessly connect to a compatible seatback entertainment system without the need to plug it in. And obviously, another huge factor to a great pair of carry-on travel earbuds is comfort. This is going to be the most subjective factor of any pair, everyone's inner ear shape is slightly different, but for us, the 4th gen's silicone tips are some of the most conforming that we've tried to date, and the actual body of the earbud seems to rest comfortably within the exterior ear in a way that doesn't ever feel as though they'd slip out accidentally or with a slight shift or increase in pressure. Sennheiser also provides a smart control app, as is now the case with just about everyone on the market, but the interface is notably user-friendly and allows you to control ANC and transparency, EQ, and customize sound profiles. Now our last few picks don't necessarily maintain any sort of official TSA guidelines, except for the extremes on the margins, of course, but our next carry-on product category definitely does, and that's because it's battery tech, which can become dangerous in a confined space off the ground. The Anchor Nano Power Bank is what we're recommending as a great portable power bank for travel. But first, let's just overview TSA's restrictions on battery size. TSA has a 1000 watt hour capacity in place for check bags with special packing instructions and does allow 160 watt hour lithium ion batteries with specific airline approval. Luckily, our pick falls well below these thresholds for a carry-on, so that's really not a concern here as the total wattage is 24 watts, capacity standing at 10,000 mAh. The Nano Power Bank comes in typically sleek anchor form, a front face that reminds us a lot of the blasted anodized aluminum treatment of Apple products. It also houses a status LED to keep track of battery percentage, and really the defining feature is the built-in USB-C charging cord, which maintains enough strength to double as a lanyard. And of course, performance is a key factor here for us. The Nano Power Bank sports a 30-watt bi-directional charging infrastructure, which can top off the power bank itself to 50% in about 45 minutes, or achieve a 50% charge for your iPhone within about 30 30 minutes. Plus, it only takes about an hour and a half to fully replenish the 10,000 mAh hour reserve if, say, you have a short layover or you need to recharge before a flight. Hydration vessels, water bottles, come in many different shapes and sizes. While TSA doesn't have restrictions on the type of bottle, it will have to go through the checkpoint completely unfilled. You're then free to refill after the checkpoint near your gate in preparation for your flight. The TRTL flask, pronunciation turtle, is an extension of their travel product line which began when mechanical engineers Michael Corrigan and David Kellogg sought to create products to improve economy class airline travel for just about everybody. Starting with the TRTL pillow, a wraparound neck pillow with a built-in frame, they now offer a whole range of unique travel accessories. This flask or water bottle is fairly standard but does build in two really handy travel features most other water bottles do without. First, this clip cap design allows you to hang the water bottle just about anywhere, off loop on a backpack, onto some molly, or even onto the seat back slip pocket during your flight. 
The second coolest feature is the topmost stash cap, which you can certainly use to house some sleeping pills, a multivitamin or prescription, or just about any small stowable that will fit here. Volume stands at 600 milliliters, just north of 20 ounces, and the walls come vacuum insulated, equipped to keep cold drinks cold for up to 24 hours, and hot drinks hot for around 12. One bag carry-on travel is really an art form, and choosing essentials wisely is paramount when space is limited, which is why we like to include versatile essentials that check more than one box. The L.O. Bean Waterproof Prima Loft Packaway Jacket provides the weatherproofing of a dedicated windbreaker or raincoat with the insulation of an actual fall or winter jacket, but also packs down into a compact, built-in stowaway pocket. Working our way from the outside in, the exterior is a two-layer tech waterproof shell, tech spelled T-E-K. Tech is a synthetic fabric membrane exclusive to beans and comes both highly resistant to moisture and wind, providing a warmth barrier even without interior insulation. That being said, this packable jacket does come backed up by interior insulation by way of 60 gram Primaloft Gold Cross Core technology and Aerogel, which gives you all the benefits of traditional insulation with as much weight savings as possible. The jacket itself only weighs in at about a pound and a half, which is just about the weight of a standard loaf of sandwich bread. Yeah, that's kind of a bit of an obscure reference, but most folks probably know about how much that weighs in hand. Other features we like are these two zippered hand pockets, as well as these two zip chest pockets, plus there's a single inner zipped stow pocket, an insulated hood with cord locks up top for adjustments, and there are even some underarm zip vents to provide just an extra degree of breathability. L.O. Bean also maintains a generous one-year return policy, and they also have a repairs department should anything go wrong during an adventure. And speaking from experience, their customer service is top-notch and incredibly human. Now, our next carry-on travel essential does come with a few asterisks, you could say, a few restrictions imposed by everyone's favorite, Transportation Security Administration. After they bark at you to take off your shoes, your belt, and your hat, they'll also demand to see any liquids, which, in the States, are limited to containers of 3.4 ounces or smaller. This volume is largely the same in most countries, with exceptions of course, but for us here in the States, that's the rule for domestic and international carry-on travel. This Bellroy toiletry kit will at the very least help consolidate your small liquid containers and other toiletries, like your toothbrush, toothpaste, comb, razor, nail clippers, and more. And these synthetic fibers also bake in a bit of water resistance. Not a crazy amount, but some, and the way in which these panels are sewn together with these darts provides some structural support, so when you open the kit in a clamshell-like manner, everything doesn't spill out. There are obviously quite a few dop kits on the market, and dop kit is an old school synonym for toiletry kit by the way, but we keep coming back to this Bellroy one because of its simplicity. One central undivided compartment flanked by one magnetic folding sleeve for say a toothbrush or a razor, and two adjacent stretch slip pockets. We have nothing extraneous or unnecessary or superfluous, and the materials are sewn together from recycled textile sourced from recycled plastic PET bottles, industrial nylon cutoffs, and recycled fishing nets. Now, if our Aesop arrival travel kit just isn't you or your wallet's vibe, and we completely get that, and would much rather use what you already have at home, Matador specializes in hard-wearing, purpose-built, waterproof travel essentials, and manufactures these fully TSA-approved, reusable, flat-pack toiletry bottles that should do the trick. These bottles come in a pack of three for just about $40 and carry three ounces or 90 milliliters of liquid each. They use a welded seam construction method, so there is absolutely no risk of any liquid spilling from the interior by way of its construction method alone. And each each bottle also uses a tight threaded cap to bolster that safety, and this also provides a wider, more solid mouth for refilling these bottles when the time comes, and they feature a smaller mouth to disperse liquid in a semi-controlled manner. The outer is a super durable and waterproof 30D Cordura ripstop nylon, and the loop itself is Hypalon, a form of synthetic rubber that's resistant to just about anything. Now obviously user experience is paramount. However, with soft goods like this, our main worry was crushing. How much force could they actually take before these welded seams gave out and leaked shampoo all over the inside of our dop kit? So here's a bit of a test. Long story short, we think they'll withstand just about every compromising scenario that you might experience during travel. Regardless, we're going to keep them in our toiletry kit for safekeeping, but use these Hypalon loops to secure them to a rail in a shower, to the outside of a backpack, say if you'd like to fill one with hand sanitizer, or you could even tether all three together this way for long-term storage. Summer, winter, spring, or fall, the sun does not hide, and keeping your eyes protected isn't just a stylish choice, it's a necessary one if you want to protect your vision in the same way that sunscreen protects your skin. 
Alright, obviously these Moscot Lemtosh sunglasses are ridiculously good looking, so in this case, you get the best of both camps. These 46mm matte black frames are absolutely classic, and a great choice to pair with just about any travel fit. Post-war America saw New York-based Moscot introduce these pseudo cat eye spectacles to the public, and soon, crooners like Buddy Holiday and James Dean Hollywood swagger types, yes the rebel without a cause himself included, fueled their popularity. These Lemtosh frames come in four sizes, 44mm, 46, ours, the average size for these frames, 49mm, and the largest, 52. And almost two dozen different Italian acetate frame colors and patterns with your choice of prescription or non-prescription real glass lenses with a good degree of tints available as well. The size range we'd say are definitely geared towards smaller faces, 52mm isn't record breaking on that top end, but the style of glasses certainly look better and more nostalgic in the middling sizes. Our matte black frames feature subtle but well-designed details including the durable seven row hinges at the temples, engravings there as well, classic diamond shaped rivets out the front, and gently sloping temple tips that seem to do a great job of staying well planted but not by any means too tight to cause discomfort. As a last note, the Lemtosh shades will probably spend more time on your face than in your backpack, but if you do find that the scenario is reversed and only need a backup pair for say emergencies or something like that, the evolution of the classic Lemtosh frames also come in a folded version, almost Persol like style that pack down even smaller. So as we said, configuring a carry-on backpack is almost a work of art. It takes a bit more pre-planning than your checked bag, as there are space limitations and TSA restrictions to abide by, and they demand quick access features that a suitcase really has no need for. So obviously then, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about crafting the perfect carry-on. And like everyday carry, it will most certainly be different for each person, or different according to each specific trip. So have fun with it, pack wisely, and at the very least, we hope you found a few items to include in your next carry-on on bag. We'll be back at the same time next week, but in the meantime, drop your favorite carry-on essentials below, and then head over to highconsumption.com next for even more essential travel recommendations from our staff.